Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Today you are going to watch me pluck frets. Yes, this is the first time on video that I've ever done this before. I've practiced with an old neck and pulled some frets out just to see how the tools work, get a little bit of a feel to them, and understand how to use them. So this time you're going to be watching me do it. So I've already got three frets on the lower part of the neck taken out, and it's working out really perfect with the fucking tools I'm using. So the chip tool, uh, I'm using it and not using it. And it seems like either way, it comes out what you saw in that first picture. When you're using one of these, the fret puller also it nips the ends. They also can use it for cutting the strings. Um, and you can also use this for uh, nipping the tangs too. Now, when you're using this thing, the way it's set up here is as you have it on top of the fretboard and you're pulling up the frets, squeezing on it, it's actually putting pressure on the fretboard as it pulls the fret up. So if you're using this tool the right way, you're not gonna have very minimum if any, chip out at all around your fret slots. Now, the one thing that I got over here that you guys may sit there and laugh about or whatever is this here. Now, this is a wood burning tool. It has adjustable heat. It also has different tips, so you can also do soldering with it. You can do wood burning. Um, I'm sure maybe there's a couple other things you could do with it too. I could probably, uh, you know, burn on the leather, you know, whatnot. But the nice thing about it is it has an adjustment for the heat, which is very good for when you're doing a light colored, colored like a maple fretboard. This one here has, you know, dark spots and light spots on it. If you leave it on the fret too long and kind of heat it up too much, uh, you could have a burn mark in the fretboard. And with this being adjustable, it kind of helps me guarantee that it's not going to happen and still be able to remove the fret. So... I have a uh, tang nipper coming now. I ended up, uh, a couple people said something in my last video about it, and I was like, well, I could use, you know, the, the fret puller for doing it, but eh. So that was 60 bucks for that. And honestly, I think I have something here for sheet metal for doing that. I don't know. But anyways, once I get the new frets installed, uh, guaranteed fret leveling. So installing new frets, uh, I really don't think anyone can really install brand new frets and have a perfectly level fretboard uh, after they're done. So fret leveling is going to be a must afterwards and followed by, you know, crowning and polishing. So let's get, or at least me, get into removing some frets. <laughs>
Alright, so as you can see, there is no, no chipping, no nothing. Came out really nice, nice and clean. Now, I do have some fret wire here, and this is a 125. Um, I don't think this is actually the same as what I have here that I just pulled out. This looks a little bit thinner as far as the actual fret goes. It looks smaller. And the Tang, uh, yeah, Tang's about the same. So I was thinking about using this, but I don't have, I don't have anything to make the uh, radius on the frets. So, yeah. Come on, Stumac, send me my shit.